Hey guys, this is Grant. I am a member of the TimeClick team, and I am going to show you TimeClick's latest release, which is version 2020. There are three new features they've been talking about will come out with this version. The first is dark theme. The second is that department heads can now manage their employees' times better. And the third is an automatic accrued time system. So let's jump into it. First, I'm going to go over the dark theme. Going into admin mode, I'll come to preferences and then display. And you'll notice there is now a time click theme option here. And there's two themes, your friendly neighborhood time click. This is the original display. There's also now the dark side of time click. I'll click on that. So you can see time click is now in dark mode. So let's see what it looks like. On the main screen, the employee that is selected their, their bar is highlighted in blue. When an employee clocks in or out, it comes up in dark theme. And you can see that the colors here are still really visible. You have the blue border, there's the green clock in font. Um, you have the green overtime bar here and there's still that red icon uh, when an employee has a message. So things are really clear. Let's see more of what it looks like in admin mode. I'm gonna come to modify times. And yeah, it's, it's very similar. So the calendar is very clear, um, you know, in green on the left hand side, this is the week that, that you're looking at and you can add an action. Yeah, so the dark theme is still very visible and clear. Things that are blotted out or not selected are gray. One of the benefits about dark theme is that it allows you to focus more on the things that you can only see. So for example, this large space down here that's dark I can't see anything there, so naturally my eyes are drawn to this area of the screen. A lot of people who spend a lot of time on computers are moving towards a dark, th dark theme, and a lot of software companies are coming out with a dark theme also because it's easier on the eyes. Less light is emitted into your eyes. So if you're interested in that, you can set that up in preferences. Let's move on to the second feature, which is how department heads can better manage their employees' times. Department heads being able to manage their employees' times, in particular their PTO, vacation, or sick time, has been one of the most requested features of TimeClick users, and TimeClick came out with exactly that. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to go into admin mode, in employees, edit department. You can see I have four departments. I'll click on development edit and yet you can see that I now have the option to specify a department head. David Gray is the department head of the development team. I'll click OK. Now when employees within that department submit a request to use PTO vacation or sick it goes directly to that department head. So watch this. Coming into the clock in and out menu of Kevin Smith, I'll launch employee options. And I'm going to submit a time request to the admin, but Kevin's admin is his department head. So he has 20 hours of vacation and he's going to request to use that vacation on Valentine's Day. And I'll send that away. Now watch this. When David, the department, comes to clock in or out, he has a message. And it's from Kevin. Request to use vacation employee message, hey, I want Valentine's, Valentine's Day off, and I can approve that or deny it. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Um, department heads now have the ability to approve their employees' times. And the same goes for missed action requests that employees send. When employees forget to clock in or clock out, um, they can submit a missed action, and it will now go to the department head instead of the admin. So this takes a lot of pressure off of the admin and helps the department heads manage their teams better. The last new feature of TimeClick 2020 is the automatic accrued time system. And there are four new things about it. Let me show you. I'll go into admin mode, then to accrued time. Similar to before, you create categories and then you assign those categories to employees. So there are four types of categories, hourly, by the pay period, annually, and monthly. 
The first new thing is that there is now a monthly category. This was not in versions prior to time click 20. Many employers mention that their, time, that their employees get PTO vacation or sick time by the month. So we added that. I'll show you how to add a category. I select monthly, for example, and I say, you know, my employees get five hours per month. I click on an employee, and then I can assign those, those five hours per month to their vacation, sick, or PTO. It's as simple as that. The second new thing about TimeClick 20's automatic accrued time system is that once you create and assign a category, it's automatic from there. There's nothing else you need to do. It's set in every month that employee is going to get five hours, and that's it. The third new thing is this checkbox right here. Reset accrued time balance each year on specified date. Many companies uh, specified the need for their employees to use their vacation sick or P PTO time in the year that it was given, and they don't like it to be carried over into future years. So we added that checkbox. If you check that, when that date hits that you specify, January 1st, for example, is quite common, the employee's PTO vacation and sick balances will flush and start at ground zero, okay? The, the fourth new thing is found in employees. If you go into an employee's record and select the accrued time tab, you can now specify a cap to an employee's vacation time, sick time, and PTO time. This is this has been requested just as much as the other features. Many employers don't like to see their employees get a super high amount of vacation sick or PTO. Once you set a cap, an employee cannot earn past that. So that's it for TimeClick 20's new and a new accrued time system. So TimeClick is running a pre-release promotion right now. If you go to their website, timeclick.com you'll see that you can join the light side or the dark side and get 10 percent off your pre-purchase it is expected to come out on march 2nd at which the promotion will discontinue and it will return to normal pricing if you click either the light side button or dark side button it'll just take you to a blog with more relevant information on timeclick version 2020 with the link by which you can purchase it check our description below we have links to our social media channel by which you can follow us and see what we're planning and doing. There's also our contact information and a link to our website and a link if you're ready to pre-purchase it. Last, leave your feedback below. What are you most excited about with TimeClick 2020 and what do you wish would have been in TimeClick 2020? That's it for today, guys. Have a good one.